the Cordilleras, a name that brings to mind a land that is mystical, mysterious, and often misunderstood. Tucked away in the mountains, their culture remained intact and continues to be practiced, passing down a cuisine that is deeply rooted in their ways and their land. Always curious about Filipino food, my team and I traveled to learn what we could from the Cordilleras. As always, cooking outdoors with local cooks and with an open mind and palate in my favorite kitchens. We are headed for Bauco, a small quiet town in the mountain province that I'm told has some interesting culinary specialties. My wife Camille and I are stoked to be on the road again after so long, heading to unfamiliar territory, ready with our taste buds and appetites to meet local chefs and cocineros who will show us a sampling of Cordillera cooking along the way. First stop, Baguio, to pick up the mountain man, Chavi, an old friend from the master chef days and now chef of the roof deck kitchen, who specializes in open fire cooking, just the thing for the mountains. Chavi will be my partner, interpreter, and guide throughout this trip. Subscribe. Four hours and over 100 kilometers later, we arrive in Bauco at the Happy House, where we meet Joy, the owner and chef, as well. She returned from a stint working overseas and now cooks for her own restaurant. Joy's specialty is fermentation. Before refrigeration, fermentation was one of the ways in which food was preserved in this area. The resulting product has pungent, powerful flavors that lend a lot of umami to dishes in which it is mixed. This is definitely going to the dishes for the cookout. Saan mo siya hinahalo? Actually, pwede siya all-purpose siya. Pero dito, mostly ginagamit nila sa, sa salted meat at saka sa uh, ibang gulay. Thank you for welcoming us in your kitchen, Thank you, Joy. Thank you for coming into my kitchen. Uy! Ito ang... Sige, sige. Yes! Kahit hindi na tayo mag-ano kasi maraming... Uy! Halika na! Pasok! So, yung halo nito, gata, oyster sauce. Oyster sauce, may pepper na po dyan, may condi salt na rin. May lalagay dyan o patanggulin mo ito? Hindi po. Yung salted meat na ano, yun yung ano. Pero yung kung paano siya lutuin, first time ko ito. Ayan. Bayaan ko lang siya. Pang toppings na lang. Ayan. Cheese. Ito na lang siya. Balik dyan siya. Ah, yun yung fermented. Okay. Let's use it for this. Okay. Ah, ay! Let's put it in there. Let's put it in there. Wow! Ito, sir. Okay, let's put it in there. Let's put it in there. Hoy, wag niyo busin yung topping. Yo, kundo. Let's take a photo of this. Magandang gabi sa ating lahat. Ito na luto na yung mga yung ating native recipe. So, ito yung tinatawag nilang ginataang gabi na may etag. Fermented pork. Kasi pork yung gamit. Ito naman Vegetable omelette na may kasamang rice wine. Tapos in-upgrade lang, kaya may, may ano siya, may mozzarella. Ito naman, salted ano, watercress na may kasamang fermented rice. Yung highlight ng lahat, ano siya, uh, parang pinikpikan pero na-upgrade lang siya. May kasama siyang sabang o yung fermented crab na may corn. Specialty po ng bao kaya yan. Pansit ni sir ito. Galing sa bao ko yung mga main ingredients. Lalo na yung chicken. Kain na tayo. Kain na po tayo. Mga tako!
spent some time checking out the town the next day. specialty coffee roaster who served us some excellent coffee from beans grown here. Na dito sa lugar niyo, ikaw lang bang roaster dito? So, lahat na kape nang gagaling dito. Yeah, galing na yung kape galing talaga sa Mountain Province kaya nga pinopromote ko yung galing sa Mountain Province. Full body nga no. This too deserved to be in the cookout. With caffeine in my system, I was ready to cook. Today's menu is pinik pican chicken and grilled pork, both staples of the Cordillera, but flavored with Joyce fermented products. Yes. 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 Peanut butter. Yung i timpla ko dito. Pero kailangan ko ng liquid eh. Anong liquid? Well, coffee liquid mo dada. Masarap. Yung kape. Tapos yung asim. Kape at yung, anong tawag nito? Fermented rice? Sigtim. We call it sigtim. Local dialect sigtim. Masarap. Masarap. Eh, dito ko titimplayin yung baboy. Gusto ko yung bida dito, yung fermented rice. Eh. Kape yung tubig. Oh, kaya light lang. Tapos yun. Pwede bang mag-harvest? Mga ganun karami. Pang patamis lang. Sarap. Kulang sa alat. Ang alat lang. Wala pang alat, no? Oo. Uh -uh. Natutunan ako sa iyo. Mag <laughs> kaya magmamarinit ako. Pag may meat si na, pwedeng chicken, ano? At saka, oo. Oh, at saka yung, di ba, maraming wala, tirang wala, kape wala, minsan. Oo. Oh, oh. Pag may tapo. Ah, siyempre, sayang. Gumawa ka ng coffee, barbecue, marinate. Ay, pwede. pwede. Pero yung liquid yan, coffee. Okay. Ang <laughs> dami akong kape, tapos hindi ako, hindi ko ginagamit. Eh. Mm. Mm. Yami talaga. <laughs> Ihalo ko na yung baboy. Kumuha tayo ng asin sa fermented rice. Mm -hmm. Tapos kumuha tayo ng tamis sa peanut butter. Sub -sub, uh, kaya na to for marinating. Pwede naman i-free boil ng konti. Yung manok nakasalang na. Nakasalang na. Okay. Welcome to the Philippines! <laughs> Mabuhay! <laughs> I'm just... Pre-boiling it, kasi wala tayong masyadong oras. So gusto ko lang sumipsip yung marinade sa pork. And then later we'll finish it off over the charcoal. We'll slap it on like that. Later. <laughs> but, you know, for added flavor, maybe we can go a few lang, mga mataba. Para lang bumango yung ating marinade. So, balik ko siya. Para may char. Smoky flavor. Uh -oh. Tapos malalasaan mo siya sa sabaw. Lapakan natin si Jeff Chabby. <laughs> Sun-dried tomatoes. Pwede siya gamitin pang timpla. As we cooked, some of the guests began to arrive to watch and listen. You could feel the surprise and pride in seeing their very own food cooked differently, but still with their homegrown ingredients. Pag na may nilalaga kayo, nabibili ko to sa Mountain Man, sa kaibigan ko. Actually, sa katabi nyo. Yan, no? So everywhere you go, just bring a packet. Ito na yung pang timpla mo. Ito na yung asin mo. Lagyan ko lang ng tatlo. Para lang malaga siya sa kwan, sa sabaw. Pag mas matagal yung luto niya, mahahalo talaga siya sa sabaw. Try talaga natin na hindi siyempre natin baguhin yung pinaka-tradisyon. 
pero itulak lang natin ng konti. Sort of like a barbecue sauce made of grilled bananas. Suka. Soy sauce. A little bit of ketchup. Garlic. Tapos pakuluan lang natin konti para lang lumapot. Kumuha ako konting taba ng baboy kanina para lang pangpalasa dito sa gulay na lulutuin natin. Kukunin natin yung lasa ng baboy na to para mapunta siya sa bawang at sa mga lahat na ilalagay natin sa hog. Tapos kalahati ng luya. Kalahati. Ito, ayan. Diyo ilagay natin yung fermented rice. Rice, corn, uh, crab. Crab. Tapos uh, isang taon, no? Three years na siya. Three years. So hindi siya kasing tapang ng iba. Yes, sir. So, so it's... Ano siya? Exclusive pang gulay talaga. Pang gulay. So gisahin nyo siya. Mas maganda. Mas mabango. Bango? Pang pabalansi lang ng, ng alat. Brown sugar lang. Sap. Mm. Okay na? Yeah. It's boiling. It's boiling, baby. Natin. Dito tayo mag-start na eh. Salad. Tapos, kuha ka ng maninay. Ikaw na. Tap, I-topping mo. Lagay tayo ng sauce. Baboy. Dip muna dito. Saging. Tapos, syempre, kanin. Silap, silap. <laughs> Going. But the real test was in the tasting. Tempo. Habul yung gulay. Sarap. Binulungan mo. When I saw their faces light up, I knew Joy, Chavi, and I succeeded in the kitchen that day. A place always seems to define its food. In the cold, remote, and unforgiving terrain of the mountain province, the food is simple and hearty, so as not to spoil easily. You kind of expect the same from the people, but get the opposite. Warm, inviting, kind people who are quick to lend a hand and a smile. Perhaps, that is the effect of a land so richly blessed. Join us in the next episode of Favorite Kitchens in Luwagan, Kalinga. <laughs>